is going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about the boston celtics and their free agency so far now the celtics have been very quiet in free agency lately and they haven't made any moves now they have shown interest in some players um but they haven't signed anyone now they've had made they have made a couple trades but not for any big pieces and i'm going to be talking about a few players that they could trade for a recap of free agency so far and just everything with the celtics in free agency and in the off season. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is the recent trades and things that have gone on for the Boston Celtics. So first, the Celtics traded Tristan Thompson Kind of in a three-team trade, it was a swap, but they traded Tristan Thompson for Chris Dunn. Now, I think they could have got more from this, and uh, Tristan Thompson was traded to the Kings, I believe, uh, but the Chris Dunn, he's a good backup point guard, shooting guard. Uh, I think he'll be fine. Um, now, it isn't really what the Celtics are looking for, um, but he, they just want to get the uh, Tristan Thompson contract off of their hands, so they got Chris Dunn in return. Um, and then they also traded newly acquired Moses Brown from the Kimball Walker trade. And they traded him to the Dallas Mavericks for Josh Richardson. But those are pretty much the only trades the Celtics have made. Overall, I, uh, I don't really have any feelings about the Tristan Thompson, Chris Dunn trade. But Moses Brown, I, I don't think they should have traded Moses Brown for Josh Richardson. Josh Richardson is somewhat on a bad contract. Uh, not even terrible, but Moses Brown's a young player that could develop into a certain center. Uh, so I don't love the trade, but not much you can do about it. And it wasn't a impactful player, so much of an impactful player, mostly a backup center in Moses Brown. But that's about pretty much the trades they did. And yeah. Now some possible trades the Celtics could make are they could trade for a guy. There is um, interest that the Celtics have shown in Danny Green. Um, the Sixers pr probably going to put him on the trade block and uh, try to get something for him. And the Celtics have shown interest. And the Celtics don't need another shooting guard. All right, They have too many. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, um, Peyton Pritchard, Aaron Neesmith. So I think they could use a more better point guard. But definitely Danny Green could work out. He's a decent defender. He can shoot the ball well. So I think Danny Green would fit just fine. And another guy is Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal requesting a trade uh, lately. And with the, uh, with the Wizards trading Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal could be on his way out. So I'm, I think the Celtics are a perfect destination. Beal could run the point guard position for them. Uh, he could even run shooting guard, and then they could put Pritchard at the one or Marcus Smart at the one, and then you could have Beal at the two, uh, Jalen Brown at the three, and Tatum at the four. So I think it would work out. Um, but overall, I think Beal would be amazing. And then uh, finally, Malcolm Brogdon also could uh, work out with the Pacers not making the playoffs last year. Definitely could go into rebuilding phase and try to get picks uh, in young players, and I think Brogdon would be a great fit in Boston to be a good point guard and starter and point guard for them. So overall, I think these three guys are the guys the Celtics need to target. And we're also going to talk about Evan Fournier does sign a four-year four year deal, I don't know that money, uh, with, the net, with the Knicks. So they don't have that good shooter um, on the team anymore that they, got at the, that they acquired at the deadline in Evan Fournier. So I'm going to be talking about why they need to make a move and why the Celtics need to make a move immediately. So the Boston Celtics need to make a move immediately because with the Bulls getting Lonzo Ball and DeMar DeRozan, with the Heat getting Kyle Lowry and some other bench pieces, and of course you have teams like the Raptors and the Pacers, even though I did say the Pacers could be rebuilding, but the Raptors and the Pacers going to be healthy again. Now, the Raptors did lose Kyle Lowry, but they still have Fred Van Vliet, Pascal Siakam, Chris Boucher, Scotty Barnes. But you have an already stacked East, and then you have the Heat and the uh, Bulls just getting better and better. You also have the Hornets, who are going to be healthy and underrated, scary team. And you have the Knicks getting better. So, so many teams are getting better. And with the Celtics' disappointing season last year, the Celtics only managed to be a seven seed. With how much with how much better the East is this year, the Celtics could miss the playoffs this year. Now I know Kemba Walker was on and on in and out of the lineup, and I know Jalen Brown got health uh, injured in the last part of the season, but still the Celtics were not a good team last year. And if the Celtics don't make a move, we could be seeing a rebuilding stage in Boston. 
All right, I know Jalen Brown and Tatum just signed big contracts, but Tatum could be leaving after. Is Tatum really the guy of the team? Because if the Celtics don't make the playoffs this year, which I think they will, but the Celtics need to be a seven seed. They need to be higher than a seven seed. All right, they can't be like last year. I don't expect the Celtics to be a two three seed, but you have. I think I can name five teams better than them right now. The Nets, Bucks, Seventy Sixers, Hawks. There's four. The Heat, five, uh, and they're in there with the. They're in there with the Bulls and the Knicks and the Hornets now. Uh, so I think the Celtics really got to make a move for a guy like Bradley Beal because I just don't think Tatum and Brown will get it done. I don't think that's. I think that's a great duo, but I don't think they have enough firepower uh, to go the distance. And when you're a seven seed, it's making the playoffs, sure. But a seven eight seed is probably most of the time it's a guaranteed loss series because you're going against the Bucks, the Nets, Seventy Sixers, who you're, who the Celtics are going to lose one hundred percent. They're not better than the Nets. They're not better than the Bucks. But with the Celtics, with the East getting that much better, the Celtics can't hang with the Heat and the Sixers and the the Nets and the Bucks anymore because they're just not there yet. They're in the bottom of the playoffs in the East. And if the Celtics don't make a move, they're going to be a 7-8 seed play in tournament team. I think the Bulls and the, the Heat are better if they don't make a move. Now, I think they're better than the Bulls, and I think they're on the same level as Heat right now. But they those teams could keep on getting better. So I think if the Celtics do make a move for a guy like Bradley Beal, even getting a guy like Malcolm Brogdon, who's not a superstar but he'll do something, that's going to make them a 4-5 or five seed. And I'm okay with that because you're playing teams on the same level as you. But when in the playoffs, when you're playing a 2-1 seed, a 1-2 seed, it's guaranteed you're going to lose most of the time. And a guy like Beal, just guys to put around Tatum and Brown, they need to go out and make moves. I, I think they should have went out, and I think they should have got Lonzo Ball or Patty Mills or someone like that because it's just not working out. And I don't think the Celtics roster is good enough to be a 4-3-4 three, three, seed um, like they once were. So tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think the Celtics – need to make a move, and do you think it's panic time for the Celtics? Now, I don't think it's panic time, but I definitely think they need to move, make a move for a big name, even guys to just put around Tatum and Beal, or Tatum and Brown, just just to make the team better, make the team a 4-5 four, four, five seed. Um, but tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.